Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and I. And it's your boy, Stanley. Look, he over here sounding like, <laughs> sounding like somebody <laughs> letting the air out of his freaking lungs. He done came home today and cut grass. Now he over here wheezing. Yeah, y'all don't, I didn't put my mask on. But anywho, but, uh, this anyway. is the finale, hopefully one of many yeah. finales of the Tiana Iman show. I'm sad to see it go, though, for real, for real. It was like a breath of fresh air. Yeah. But Something anyway, real. Yeah, nothing major happened. Well, it kind of did. But they started off where they wanted to have a dinner together because we're actually rolling up on the time where Iman has to actually go back to playing basketball and going into camp and doing all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be away um, from his family. So Tiana and him wanted to get together and go out for a nice little romantical dinner. And Supposed to be. If you didn't know no better, you would have thought they were high kite. Or they but her anyway, because she ordered all kind of books. Them the people that make you mad, they be this big. And they have an appetite from here to Kalamazoo. <laughs> I mean, they ordered everything from crab meat to Steak, steaks, mashed cream potatoes. Cream with corn. Cream. I said, what in the name of God is going on? And then they do like we do. What you order? Because that way I ain't got to order it because I can eat yeah, all of yours. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you make your money stretch. Yeah, <laughs> so even when they got money, people got money, they still do it too. Yeah, they make your money stretch. You know what I'm saying? You getting a crab cake and I getting one. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> so then we go over there to um, Tiana's nail shop. Okay, it's been in the construction phase for a, a year. I was like, what? It's like, who is the project manager of this project? Now, the last time by. we actually had a glimpse of this nail salon, it was a black <coughs> guy in there that was making her give up all this money. Yeah. Overcharging her on these invoices. So, is he the same guy responsible for nothing being done? Yeah. They basically had to come together as a family and finish this guy doing yep. nail salon off so that they can make it to the reveal, well, the opening of the salon. And I'm like, for real? What? What? I'm like Why this. we can't do business right? I'm like this. If it was him, you on a national TV show with a celebrity, and you gonna do that, Bushkit? If you did that, that's the perfect opportunity for free advertising mm. of your work. And you know we in a support black business vibe right now and everything. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure somebody else in the industry would have probably came and asked her, well, who's that dude that did the work for your salon? Yeah, first of all, it's not, not now. Like, it shouldn't take a year to open up a freaking nail salon. No. I'm now, just, it might take you as the owner a year to open up, but it shouldn't yeah. take a year to put everything together. No. Man, no. that should have been done. Do you know you can build a whole house in 90 days? Yeah. And it's been a year? Hmm. Well, it's whatever. E. But I do like the look of the shop. I heard it was really nice. I told y'all, they said they you're in Harlem. They got the 90s look in there, man. Yes, the, yeah. the 90s street theme. Got the guy doing got, um, got shoes hanging from the line. Yeah. Got, you know, got the the bold, bright colors, the mm -hmm. neons. I thought it was everything. The graffiti on the walls. So, on the soft opening, <clears throat> I'm going to call it the reveal. They had, I saw SWV in the house. I saw Lil, Lil Kim. Kim. I think I seen Missy Elliott. I saw, um, um, what's the guy's name? The Ooh. rapper. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't think of that. Whatever. Y'all yeah. know who he is if y'all seen it yourself. But some good people came through. Some good people came through. Then we got this thing going on with Tiana. And I'm very concerned about this album that she has coming out. Not because I'm concerned because of her. But I am concerned because... Crazy Ye, formerly known as Kanye, he don't went off the deep end once again. Y'all remember when he got on there and he was sitting there with Chris Tucker and uh, Michael Miles mm -hmm. and he was talking about some D George Bush don't, don't like black, black people. people. He's on that again, but he's on the Kanye West don't like black people thing. I'm not saying that, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so he's on this deep end now and he's actually the one producing her album that's about mm -hmm. to drop. And I hope that I hope what he's it, yeah. doing is not going to affect, affect that. her and her talent. I mean, because this girl has been through hell. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, looking at this show, I realized that she has had a whole lot of misses more than she's had hits. This ain't another thing that I want to happen to her. I don't want somebody else's bull skip <laughs> to interfere, to with, interfere her with her life and her hard work and what she's doing. Have, her, have it been released yet? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. Not I, that I, I know like, of. I said maybe because she was like... 
<clears throat> Kanye <clears throat> really came through. He said, came through on the beach. Yeah, on the beach, she was like, that's the the polo shirt. <laughs> Kanye. But I mean, Kanye is a genius at what he oh, does. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. can't most deny death. his talent. Yeah, most definitely. Crazy Ye or Kanye. Both of them, I mean, they're mastermind at their craft. Mm -hmm. But this scares the heck out of me. And I actually tweeted on Tiana on um, Twitter. She didn't respond. But I asked her, can she get her grandparents on three-way so they could speak in tongues over Kanye right about now? Because <laughs> when I seen Junie I go down, we going to need yeah, crazy we gonna need that, yeah. Yeah. to come out the sunken place. Because this right here, I'm done. So we ended up actually leaving off where... Tiana was actually having a heartfelt moment in the confessionals. And we were sitting there talking and I was like, if that ain't us all day yep. long, like she's having separation anxiety. Like we don't have that separation anxiety. Um, do we? We kind of do sometimes. Yeah, we going for a certain we're having amount a truth of time. Moment, I guess. Yeah. Um, well, he's getting ready to go away and he's going to, and usually she when he goes away, She's never been this busy before. So even when he's away, she could sneak time away and be with him. Yeah. And take Junie where he is. But now their schedules are going like this at the same time. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't know how she's going to handle that. Because she's so <clears> used <throat> to when he's doing his thing, she's cheerleading him. She said, I'm coaching she's the doing, team. That's yeah, and when right. she's doing his, her thing, he's on the sidelines cheering for her as well. Mm -hmm. So now they're they going to have to do like this. And that is hard for two people that kind of have built their lives on being each other's support system. Like, we know how that is. Yeah. Because without my husband being my support system, I would quit a whole lot of stuff that I would be doing. Because some of the stuff that I go after is just so far out there, no one else can even understand it enough to support me. Or to even believe in it. And he'll be like, Lynette, that's small potatoes for somebody like you. So they'll Hell keep pushing yeah. their hand in your back. Yeah. And to take that away, I was like, oh, I feel what she's feeling right now. Because it's really hard to get a, a, a real solid support group, man. Yeah. This, I mean, you can't, it's got to the point that you can't even buy it. For real, for real. It has to come in your life organically. Yeah. And most time it come packaged in a way that it's not appealing to you. Cause what the hell does that mean? What it means is the person will come in and tell you that your breath stinks. So oh, it's not okay. Appealing. You know I, what I'm talking about looks? Yeah, because I was going to say. Yeah, no. 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 Because I just said, oh, I, I know that. Beautiful. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Can I finish now? Yeah, because I was about ready to light your life up. So, anyway. yeah, man, when you find that, that, that good support system, man, treasure it. Of all you got because they the ones that can prepare you to the next level. Mm -hmm. Not them casters in your ear talking about some, nah, bro, I don't think that's a good idea. Nah, girl, that ain't a good idea. You shouldn't do that. If it's your dream, go after it. I don't care how time you hit your head against the wall, hurt yourself. If that's what you want out of life, man, you keep going. And mm -hmm. find a support group that supports you. Or in other words, find somebody else that have been there, done that, and got what you want. And let them mentor you. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, support groups is everything, man. Yeah, if you I appreciate them now because I'm like I'm not old, but I'm older. Mm -hmm. So now I understand like a lot of people like my parents used to tell me like you ride around with all them hard He's like, no, nah, they my friends. Man. I'm like, no, they not your friends. They your associates because they was your friends. They wouldn't be letting you do that bullshit that you out there doing. Mm -hmm. You got yeah. a whole bunch. I call them the Amen Corner. Yeah, yeah, a whole bunch of people that when you doing it, <clears throat> do it, do it, and then soon as your your back up against the wall. Well, where my fan at? Yeah. Oh, they ain't nowhere to be found. So, I got what she was saying. She oh, was yeah. like, you know, you're used to being able to be in someone's presence. And I was talking about, like, when he, you know, when we used to go on business trips, that was before we stopped traveling for our, for our companies. You know how that is. Yeah. When we stopped letting them use us to, to go here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. But, you know, he used to fly out and do different stuff. And you be sitting there, and I said the whole time... We not together. We all FaceTime like this. What you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, okay. Now I want Facebook FaceTime back then. That was um Google um uh, Google Hangouts. Hangouts. <laughs> yeah, we was on there. Yeah. So technology. We think about back in the day when you, you never had it. Once you was gone, you were gone. You were gone. I ain't see your face no more until you show back up. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, so, so, so technology is something else. I'll put to y'all on that because it's almost like in life when you find that one perfect match, that those two puzzle pieces that yeah. don't go to any other big puzzle but the puzzle that you're yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. You can't replace it. Yeah. You can't replace it. Mm -hmm. And I, I and they have that. I don't say it about too many people. They have that. Mm -hmm. They are made for each other. Yeah. If they if something was to ever happen <clears throat> to them, they did it to themselves. Yeah. Yeah. That that's a universal connection right mm -hmm. there. And um, yeah, that's really all I gotta say about it. And at the end they had this pool party, you know, where they were gonna send him on off to, you know, go play basketball and do his thing. And he had a reflection moment and he was like, throughout everything that he's ever done in his life, the only thing that matters to him is to see his daughter smile and his wife smile. Mm -hmm. And when he does that, priceless. he's good. It's priceless, man. That's a man talking right there. Cause yeah, that's priceless. That's all being white. Yeah, it's priceless. Yeah. All we want is y'all to be happy, man. Yeah. And whatever that is, we'll do. That's but if why, you that's why I did what I did for you on Saturday, man. You gonna yeah. show him what I did? What's up? You gonna show him what I did? Yeah, you know, you gonna leave me hanging? Show him what I did? Yeah. It's dirty now. Sorry. Okay, let me tell y'all. I'm had to tell y'all how it happened because my husband. <clears throat> I have to be really <clears throat> careful in what I say because he's a great listener. So if I just be like, "Oh my God, that Lexus was fire." The next thing I'll know, I'll start going on the history of the freaking internet and he's researching <laughs> yeah. and trying to figure out how he's going to get this Lexus and where it is and da 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 So a lot of times I have to be really careful how I word stuff. So I had said, and most of y'all, like some people at work have even said, where is your wedding ring? And I said, I've been married over 10 years. So usually when you are married over 10 years, most people will transition into an anniversary band. Yeah. So I've had my anniversary band since we've been married for 10 years. My first bridal set, I had it repaired so many times because I tore it up. You hear what I said? Uh, Prongs, up. diamonds, and I just well, got I tired. I tore mine up too. Though. Yeah, I ain't never replaced mine. So too. I got tired of getting it replaced. So the last time it broke up, <clears throat> did I have it melted? That I don't even I don't know, know what did. where. I don't, I don't even know. I don't, yeah, it, so, don't, it don't matter like Mike B. Said it don't even that. matter. So what <laughs> happened was I ended up going to the jewelry store just to look. And I had saw this ring that I really like because I like flat rings. I like rings that are flatter to the hand, whatever. So the girl said, you know what? Come back on Saturday. We have a diamond dealer that's coming on Saturday. And you can be able to customize some pieces on Saturday for yourself. So we first get in there and what I picked out was like $13,000. I said, I wouldn't even let you pay that mm -hmm. because that's me paying my. You worth it though. But, I am, but, but I. Uh, nah, I really, we won't do that. Though. I won't. Nah. We so they came do down a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, and I said, okay, now we in my ballpark of what we won't do. So at the end of the day, long story short, I don't know if y'all would be able to see that on camera. Let me see if I can. Um. Okay, y'all see that? Uh, my hand is ashy as heck, and I'm trying to make it focus. Y'all not gonna see no sparkle on it, but it's almost two carats. And I had it customized with a kite setting. So my diamond is actually on an angle. Yeah. And it's um it's set like a kite and it sits higher than I would like it to sit. But I love it. Now this is what's crazy. We had picked out a ring that we was gonna go back and pick up. We just was gonna both be browsing the other ones, but after they compared it to that one, I was like, and the one we was gonna buy, the one that we was buy, it made that it look one like made, it made it look like it came out of the bubblegum machine, man. <laughs> But it I was, was like, still can, nice. It was still nice, but compared to that one, it like came with the bubblegum machine. Though. Yeah, so. I 25 wish, cent. Yeah. In the clear. In the, I'm, in I the might clear put thing. it on. I might put the real, when I first got it, with their lighting, I might put it on. Um, speaking of, I might put it on Instagram. But speaking of, I need to call the insurance company because I need to oh, put yeah. this on my house insurance. Yes, believe me. Um, <laughs> but anyway, good episode. I hope this comes back. Y'all, make sure yeah, that y'all are tweeting about this show. Make sure you are hashtagging this show. Making sure that you go under their profiles on Instagram and let them know that you enjoy this show. Let the producers know that you enjoy this show. So that you can make your voice known and that it will continue to come back. Indeed. So straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. To what? To the holla. holla.